Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Algorithms, Programming Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at the idea of compression. Because we've been uh, full on intensely looking at um, Fibonacci numbers and prime numbers recently, I wanted to take a higher view of things and think of a general kind of problem and a general algorithmic approach to that problem. So I want to talk about how we compress or make things smaller in a computer. So. If we stored every character or every note of an mp3 file, it'd be massive. Um, whereas what, what the computer does is it figures out ways of shortening information down without losing any information. And it allows the computer to store stuff in a smaller space and retrieve it more quickly. So if you're wondering how your iPod or your mp3 player works, one thing it does is it, does, it records the whole song, but it stores it in such a way that it, it doesn't uh, store it note for note, it actually skips a lot of information. So let's look at how it might do that. So let's imagine we're storing a, a, a character or sending a message or something like that. We're s storing a file with, with words in it or we're sending a message. And the message that we're storing or sending is that the rain in Spain lies mainly in the plain. What could we do to reduce the size of that? Well, let's describe this message first. The message is a total of 42 characters, uh, and we're including the eight space characters in between each word there as well. So there's um, 30, 34 non-space characters and eight space characters. Uh, if we took, we noticed that the word the appears twice in this message, the rain and the plane. So let's say we replace the word the with the number one. And we create a little table that said where everywhere you see the number one, that's the word the. Great. Then we've reduced 42 characters into 38 characters. Now let's say we, we know that the words A-I-N are there a lot because it's in rain, it's in Spain, it's in mainly, and it's in plain. So if we reduce, replace, the letters A, I, N, when they're together in a phrase, let's replace that with the number two. Suddenly we've got one R2 in SP2 lies M2 Lee in the P, L, 2. So we've reduced uh, from overall 42 characters now, now down to 30 characters simply re by replacing the A, I, N with two and the word the with one. Now let's get, get rid of anywhere we see I in, because we have the rain in Spain lies mainly in the plain. So in is there twice, so let's get rid of in. And we have one R two three SP two lies M two L Y three one P one two. And if we want to know what that means, all we have to do is look at the table up in the top right hand corner and we see that one means the, two means a-i-n and three means i-n. And we've reduced 42 characters down to 28 characters simply by doing that. So if I store the message the rain in Spain lies mainly in the plane as I have it there and also store a little table beside it with the lookups then I've reduced the sequence of information significantly. Now obviously with a sentence that short the impact isn't large, but if I'm thinking about, let's say, a music file or an audio file or an image file or a video file, because there are so much repeated sequences, if I just say, repeat this little sequence over and over again, that gets me a lot of savior in terms of compressing the size of the data I need to store. Let's even be trickier and let's say the word, the number one doesn't mean the, but it means the space because we know that, that we can get rid of even more stuff then. If it means the space, then we have one R2, which is the space, rain, and uh, the plane is one PL2, which is the space, P-L-A-I-N. So now we've reduced a 42 character sequence down to a 26 character sequence. So we're getting almost towards having the length of the message simply by having a little lookup table that tells us how to reduce the characters down. And in the same way, if we replace, if the number three doesn't mean I in, but it means I in space, then we'll reduce down the, the, the threes as well in the same way to one, which is the space, 
R A I N to in Spain, it becomes three, no space, SP, two, AIN. Then we've reduced it down to 24. So 42 characters down to 24, that's not bad. That's a significant reduction. Uh, so the message that ran in Spain lies mainly in plain can be stored in the computer as one R2 space three SP2 space lies space M2 LY space three one PL2. Uh, and as long as we have our little lookup table to translate what those numbers represent, we can reconstruct the message. So when we're storing the message, we can store it like that. But if a user asks to view the message, we can re-display it using the correct information. But at a storage level on the MP3 player or on the computer, it can be stored encoded or compressed, that is squeezed down a little bit more. So we can imagine writing a program or pseudocode to do this. Let's try a different example and a different approach to compression. Let's say we had a list of jobs in a database and the jobs were bookkeeper, teacher, porter, nurse and doctor. And we've described the, the job as being of length 10 characters long. So every job is 10 characters long, that's the storage space we've allocated for it. Some jobs take up the full length of 10 characters like the name bookkeeper, whereas many of the other jobs take up less space, teacher, Porter, nurse and doctor actually are there, but there's a bunch of spaces. So an easy way of compressing this would be just instead of ha having the spaces stored, let's just say how long the spaces are. So the word teacher has three spaces afterwards, the word porter has four, nurse has five, and doctor has four. So let's just say bookkeeper, store it as is, teacher, store it with three space, porter, store as four space, nurse as five space, and doctor as four space. So we can reduce 50 characters down to 42. If this was a database of 50,000 jobs, and a lot of them had spaces, we could significantly reduce our, our, our space then. So I've given you some uh, pseudocode here. I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's just a rough idea of how that might work. We call the program compress example. We get the current character. If that character is not an end of line, which means the end of this line, get the do keep getting the next character. And if they're different characters, keep on getting characters. But if they're sa the same characters, we might keep on looping as long as we're getting the same characters and count how many of the same characters we get. And if we keep on getting the same characters, instead of recording 10 spaces, let's just record the number 10 and it's a space. So don't worry about the actuality of the pseudocode, as long as you get the idea. Check if I'm getting, check if, if this is a space. If this is a space and the next character is a space, keep on looping uh, as long as I'm getting spaces. And then don't write, save 10 spaces, just write down the number, the count of 10, and that is a space. That's a, the, the compression example where, where we'd be a more detailed explanation as to what we'd be doing. But again, don't worry about it. As long as you get the general example, we'd use a loop and we're checking if this character is still a space. Keep grabbing, keep counting. If it's not a space, then stop counting. Let's try a different example where we're compressing house prices. So if, if um, house prices, which were crazy in the past, if uh, we have a house that's 350,000, another one 600,000, another one five, 550,000, another one that's 2,100,000, another one that's 3,000,000, um, I, I think we can guess how we'd compress this information. Let's just have a number that indicates the number of zeros. So um, we have 35 plus four zeros, we have six plus five zeros, we have 55, plus four zeros, with 21 plus five zeros, and with three plus six zeros. Because it's numbers we're dealing with and we're counting the number of zeros, I'm going to stick a hash in between the numbers and the count just to indicate if I read three five hash four, that means three five zero 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 zero. If I read six hash five, it means six zero 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 zero. So the, the number at the end is the number of zeros and the numbers at the start are, are the rest of the numbers. Uh, and again, look at, we've reduced that count from 32 characters down to 18 characters. So we're, we're reducing it significantly by doing those sorts of tricks. I'll finish off the idea of compression by looking at image compression. So an image 
as we know, is made up of little pixels. Uh, little little dots. So let's say we're trying to display the letter A. The letter A, if it's in black and white, has squares, which we call pixels, and they're either white squares or black squares. We can see there that some, most of the squares are white, with the black squares representing the letter A. If we were to describe it in text, we'd say the first line there is three white squares, white, 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 two blacks, black, black, and then three whites, white, white, white. The next line down is two whites, a black, two whites, a black, and two whites. The next one is one white, one black, one, two, three, four whites, one black, and one white. So if we want to store the image of the letter A, the, the, the descriptions of whites and blacks is how we'd store it on the computer. This is very big, so we need to reduce it down a bit. We can compress that by simply stating the number of whites and the number of blacks. So instead of saying WWW, we'll just say three Ws. So then BB, we'll say two Bs. And instead of saying WWW again, we'll say three W. And the bottom line, as we can see, the eight whites become uh, just eight W. So if we go back to the picture, we can see the letter A, it seems, in our image has a, a blank line on the bottom, which is just www. Rather than have that, we've just eight whites. So we've reduced the image from 64 characters down to 44 characters. That's okay, but we can do better than that. We call that run length encoding. So instead of encoding the information, we encode, encode the run of the information. So we don't record www, we record 5w instead, which records the run length of the particular characteristic rather than the characteristic itself. We could add in one more rule to reduce things. Let's imagine if we um, record the number zero, that means whatever was on the previous line, just print it again. So if we, if, as, as it was, we have it, we have 3w, 2b, 3w, we have 2w, 2, 2w, 2b, 2w, b, uh, and w2, then we've WB4, WBW, WB4, WBW, with W6, BW, with WB4, WBW, with WB4, W, BW, and 8W. So we can see there's two lines repeated there. The, one, two, three, the fourth and the fifth line are the same, and the seventh and the eighth line are the same there. So if we use the number zero to say, for the fourth line, just repeat the third line again, and for the seventh, eighth line, just repeat the seventh line again, then we've, we can s reduce the characters from 64 down to 44 down to 34. So we've gotten rid of 10 characters again by just using the number zero to reduce and compress the value. That just represents repeat the same line again. And for a lot of images, it's the same information over and over again. So having a single character zero to say, just repeat the same line again, means you save massive amounts of space. So if you look at that image there, for example, the first line and the second line are exactly the same. And probably the second last line and the last line are exactly the same. If we go on to the, the P part, the, the bit that's sticking out of the P, the three columns that make up the, the, the rightmost edge of the P, they're the same three columns that make up the rightmost edges of the eight. So those three lines are probably exactly the same all the way down. And the same with the, with the, with the bottom bit of the P. There's three lines there that are the same as the, the bit of the eight. So all we need to do is not store one pixel at a time or one dot at a time. We just say, just keep repeating this dot if it's the same sequence over and over again. So that's data compression. Um, just as I said, it's to because we've been doing some fairly interesting and complex and intense algorithms. Uh, that that's an overview of if we had to write code to make files smaller or messages smaller or images smaller or videos smaller or audio files smaller. We find repeating sequences within the information, and just instead of repeating that information, have some number or or value or symbol that says just redo that again. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next episode.